Mr. Chair. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, it's been a thrilling ride so far, and uh, that's just the first four months. I believe most of the members of the caucus, and we have an opportunity every week to have a sit down with them, would agree that uh, we are very well led at the helm by our President, Barack Obama, and our Speaker, and our Majority Leader, and the rest of the leadership team in the House, and certainly with Mr. Reid and his leadership team in the Senate. But we know that these past four months have really been our way to communicate to the American people that we want to restore confidence, not just confidence in government, confidence in the economy, but confidence that they can lift themselves up as well. And we want to give them the tools to do exactly that. At the end of the day, this is about putting people first, whether you're a taxpayer, whether you're a consumer, whether you are someone in need of health care, we're trying to elevate you, make you believe once again that this economy, this government, our people are really going to lift us up as we've always seen it happen in the past. The credit card bill, the housing bill, all of these things are meant to tell people, send them a signal that we are trying to make it better for them, to give them confidence that they can go ahead and continue to lead their lives. But it's tough sometimes. When today you have a debt of a trillion dollars, I don't mean government debt, I'm talking about consumer debt in credit cards, a trillion dollars, you've got a problem, especially when the rules of the game are changed midstream. A trillion dollars, if you were to translate every dollar into a second, that debt would have commenced at the time that human beings were trying to figure out how to start a fire. 32,000 years ago, you'd have to begin to accumulate a dollar every second of time, 32,000 years ago. That's a lot of money that consumers in America owe. On top of that, of course, we saw that President Obama inherited an over trillion dollar deficit from the previous administration. Lots of work to do to restore confidence. But it's tough to restore confidence when Americans are getting letters like this. And no one is immune. This is a letter I received last month from my credit card company. Now, I pay through auto payment on my credit card, yet I received a letter telling me that, guess what? We've reviewed the files and spending and debt profiles of our card members, and we're making some difficult decisions. Unfortunately, that's why we're writing to you today. We have had to make the difficult decision to lower the credit limit on your account. Now, I, I, don't have, I have a zero balance at the end of the month every month. And so I received this letter. And of course, they said, your credit limit may have changed, but your value to us has not. <laughs> now, that's the letter I received. And I pay on time automatically every month. Now, if this isn't bad enough for the Becerra household, let me tell you, my daughters are getting letters to apply for credit. Now, if, we're, if it weren't for the fact that they are still minors, my oldest is now 16, and for the last two years, she's been receiving credit card applications. We shouldn't have to worry too much, but that's what's going on in the Becerra home. I can only imagine what's going on in other homes around America. And so how can they have the confidence that we're trying to do the right thing when people across America are getting letters like this, including people who pay their bill on time, who try to do things the right way? A trillion dollars is out there in consumer debt today. We're going to change that. Working with the president and this leadership team in the Congress, we're going to restore confidence to Americans that we want to do this the right way. Next up, health care. We intend to move forward. This is not a do-nothing Congress. We will not accept those who say status quo is okay. We intend to move forward on health care reform. Climate change, we want to forever rid ourselves of the dependence on other uh, foreign sources of energy. And so we're going to move forward. But it's tough when you get letters like this to make people believe that we're trying to do it the right way. We intend to give people a different signal. That's why we did this credit card bill, to give people rights. That's why we're going to do health care reform. That's why we're doing climate change. That's why we did the housing bill. That's why we did a stimulus package through this economic recovery plan. We are going to restore the confidence that Americans used to have in their government and in their people. And we believe that if we do it the right way, no one 
will receive these kinds of letters, and certainly 16-year-olds will not as well.